Hi guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. So today I'm going to be working on my repair patch for the lower bulkhead. So this is my repair patch I made in a previous video. So all I've done is um, I've put a load of holes in, roughly to mimic the other side where all the spot welds go. So I'll spot weld it to the floor on the, both of these pieces, and I'm just going to seam weld it uh, to where I cut out on the actual lower bulkhead itself. So before I can actually weld it in, there is a little bit of grinding I've got to do along this edge just to make it fit in a bit nicer, it's just sort of binding on the edge here. But as soon as I get that ground back a little bit, I can start putting some tack welds in all the way along this edge. And uh, I've got a hammer on the inside where those little tabs are that I made so it's nice and flush there and I can spot weld those. And then I can spot weld it to the floor itself. So I've ground a bit off this edge and the panel is fitting much better now, I'm more happy with the way it's fitting. Uh, and on the inside of this section here, I've uh, just cleaned it up, I sprayed a bit of the weldable primer on the inside. So now it's just a case of putting the panel back in, I'll use my magnets to hold it in place and I'll start up at this corner, put a few tacks in all the way along and then same down this edge. What I'll do is I'll get set up with my other little camera and I'll start welding this in.
So I've got my little patch mostly welded in now, it's all welded in along this edge and along here. I've still got a bit of welding to do on this edge, but I need to uh, do a little bit of hammering on this first just to get these lining up a bit better. But I'm pretty happy with how all the welding's gone today, it's gone pretty good. I mean this bit here is a little bit high, but I have checked on the other side and the weld has gone through all the way. So obviously now all i got to do is just carefully grind the tops of these off. Probably don't really need to grind those fuges there, but this bit here, definitely just grind the tops off, sort of roughly blend it in a little bit, and I think it will look pretty good. So obviously, once I get this side just hammered up a bit, I can start doing these uh, spot welds. So what I'll do is I'll probably drill a few out and just use uh, nuts and bolts just to clamp, uh, clamp this to the floor piece so it's a really tight gap. And then I can just do the, um, the spot welds where I've drilled out. And then obviously once this is done, I can, uh, I've got to make a repair patch to go in this edge here with the edge which folds over here and along down this side. Similar to what I did over that side. But I'm happy with my progress I'm making so far. It's all going pretty good. So uh, one other thing I made was this little... Uh, just uh, it's a square I think it's just like a reinforcement piece because just here where it was that's where the um, the front subframe mounts to so you can see on this side you got the two holes there and there's a, a square panel in there so the one this side was all rusty so I've just made a, a new one and I drilled out the holes where it should line up so I think it goes uh, so it'll be on the inside it'll be that way around it's in roughly just there somewhere. A bit difficult to uh, there is where it lines up. So obviously I'll have to drill out the hole there, but that hole there is where the mount goes. So I just got to, once that's welded in, I can drill a hole so it lines up with that. I think I just got to trim a little bit off the bottom so it fits in this corner as well. So obviously I need to do that before I can uh, do the spot welds because that gets sandwiched in between this piece and the floor. So what I'll do is I'll uh, finish working on this bit first, then I can get this piece welded in. So I spent the morning just uh, carefully grinding this back. So I only used my uh, grinding disc on sort of this section here. The rest of it I just used my little belt sander just to neaten it all up and it looks a lot better. Obviously I tried to not touch either side of the metal too much, I tried to focus on just grinding the tops of the welds off. I think it looks pretty good. So obviously I've still got that little bit to weld just there. But I'm going to just leave that for now. And I want to get that um, my little reinforcement plate on the inside lined up. Because obviously I need to um, drill out a couple more holes on it where these spot welds go. So I can weld through uh, both pieces onto the actual floor piece itself. So it's all welded together. So what I've started doing is just uh, put a few uh, six mil nut and bolts just to clamp this edge together really tight. So I'm really happy with how this is going at the moment. Obviously I've still got to weld uh, down that edge just there. But what I might do is just uh, leave that as it is for now. I'll probably get my little plate sorted out. and do a few of the spot welds along this edge and then I can move on to uh, I need to buy a new rear bracket for the rear subframe and then what I can do is mount the front and rear um, outer sill reinforcement brackets and I've also got the um, cross member extension and jacking point which I need to weld on and then I can start working on the outer sill and I've got to fix um, the actual cross member itself as well. I need to make up a couple of long sections to fix that. But I'm happy with how this is all going at the moment. So I've got this piece welded in. So I'm going to be leaving this video here today. That's all I've got time for this weekend. But I'm really happy that I was able to get that panel in place and get it mostly welded in. So obviously I've still got a little bit to finish on that and I need to get my reinforcement plate in for the uh, front subframe mount. I'm really happy with the progress I'm making, so thanks for watching this video.